Okay, it's very simple. <clears throat> if you um, once you you put your CD into your your computer into your disk drive, and it closes, and you it should um, auto load. I have programmed the CD to auto load, and so it should just open up and open up Internet Explorer and open up the disk menu inside of Internet Explorer. But if it doesn't do that, then another way to activate a disk. Uh, a CD um, to open it up or to get it to run is to go to uh, let's start right here you're gonna go down to the start menu and then you're gonna click run right here now if what you're gonna normally look at is right here is a, is a blank okay so what you wanna do is click here browse and inside you have what you wanna do then is click See, if you click desktop, then everything that's on your desktop is here. But you want to go down to my computer. And then choose the drive that your CD is in. So, sometimes, you know, like mine, I have external drives and I have multiple drives. So, you don't, you don't necessarily know. You have to choose. Just go down each one until you find the right one. Like, you can start here, local disk C. And then click open. Now, if that isn't it, now see, this doesn't look like what's on the on the the actual CD. This isn't what I put there, and you can tell this is actually what's on your computer. So this is the wrong one. Obviously, you can go back up right here, click the back. It's like it's equivalent of a back arrow key, a folder with a green arrow coming out of it, and you can go down to the next one. Let's try Express Burn. This one right here, and then click open okay now these are it these are the files that are on my CD and I know it um, now if you don't know what's you know what you do is you guess by what is not on your computer okay so if you see files that are on your computer you're like hey these files are, my, are on my computer then obviously that's not it you want to look for files that you've never seen before okay and right here we're we're looking for a menu something that has menu and so uh, that way you can pull up all these other things otherwise you gotta go into the look up the information individually so what you want to do now is go down to here file types programs click the arrow and click all files so that way it brings up all the files that are on the disk now you can see see I have an auto run right here this this code right here this program should automatically auto load it but sometimes you get a disk that doesn't have that and so you have to go in and get it to run yourself what you're looking for is a disk menu and right there it is, right there, diskmenu.html, hypertext, mark, hypertext markup language, diskmenu.html. You're looking for the big blue E, okay? So you always want to start, you want to click on the big blue E, and then go down to open. And there it is, right there. Now we're going to open that, we're going to run it, and you click open. And that should open up the whole menu. And it does.